The second annual conference on the Partnership for Strengthening Matano, Neonato Child Health and Nutrition was held in Nairobi, Kenya with an aim to look into and evaluate Kenya's situation on Matano and child health through learning, sharing and sustaining. The conference, attended by county and national government officials, civil societies and NGOs, raised fundamental concerns that calls for honest action. The head of Department of Family Health, Ministry of Health, Dr. Sheikh Mohammed, said that though Kenya has made progress, the targets are still far from being achieved. As a country, as a much of the real progress, still our maternal mortality is very high. Trends in maternal mortality in Kenya shows that they have reduced from 670 to 362 between 1990 to 2014. For 100,000 deliveries, out of 100,000 mothers that deliver in our, in our country, about more than 670 were dying. Today we can say at least we are using the last KGHS because that is the most current information that we have until we do the other KGHS is that we have 362 per 100,000 deaths per woman who deliver in our country. Dr. Mohammed said national and county governments need to relook on their coordination since it has been an impediment in concerting efforts to end maternal mortality rate. That we need to strengthen coordinations. I think this is something that we should agree that we have challenges in terms of coordination. We just need to make sure that we have a proper coordination at national and county government and our partners in the provision of reproductive maternal health services. We also need to have a strategic information system. I think that's an area that sometimes we do good work at the county level, at the, at the, at the service provision level. I think uh, it is not uh, well you know, captured those data. So we just need to improve on that. Addressing the media, maternal and child health expert Ministry of Health Dr. James Getonga said the leading cause of maternal death is postpartum hemorrhage caused by low blood levels. The leading cause of maternal death is postpartum hemorrhage, that is bleeding after delivery. And it's even worse for the mothers who go into delivery when their HB or blood levels are low. So if we can be improved through nutrition interventions so that before they go into labor, they are having the normal or good blood levels. Even when they bleed, they may not able to, the outcomes are favorable, as opposed to those who enter into labor when their HPs are very low. Even minimal bleeding tips them to severe consequences. Poor nutrition distribution gap in Kenya contributes to a greater extent in maternal deaths, and Dr. Gitonga said the Ministry of Health is working on a national program to contain the problem. We have been working together and we have committed to continue that collaboration in the areas of maternal, child and newborn health and nutrition. The various actors, the county governments have committed to play their role as a national, which will give our, play our role, which is mainly the guidance, which will develop the guidelines as we go towards universal health coverage. We are ensuring that the health that we are going to roll out is quality. Uh, we have adopted the Quality standards from WHO. We have, have standards, we have adopted them as a country, which we are rolling out so that it is spelled out what is expected for the mother who goes to health facility, what kind of health care is expected. Regarding capacity building and service delivery, Dr. Gitonga pointed out that the Ministry of Health is working on addressing them. We have developed our work plans together with the counties on now that gaps that have been addressed through capacity assessment gaps, which are, we are rolling out trainings in various areas that have been identified. Some of them, uh, images of obstetric care, there are trainings on that. Various areas which are uh, from the identified, we are working with the counties to address that. Nairobi is one of the regions hit by high maternal mortality rate, and Dr. Gitonga attributes this to high population density and late complicated referral cases. It's in Nairobi. The, the population is high, so if we, most of the, that report was in absolute numbers. Secondly, Nairobi has the National Referral Hospital. See, the referral cases are complicated cases, and they come late. And so most of the outcomes from a referral facility, like we find Nairobi, and uh, because of the more teaching a referral hospital, most of the, the most critical mothers will be found there. And sometimes the... Uh, the, the, the probability of losing that mother because of the emergency and the time taken is higher. 
Nutrition expert World Vision Daniel Mohinja said in order to achieve better nutrition and mother and child health care, robust investments thus need to be channeled to community health workers but also consider the ease of solutions available to them. Uh, one of the things that as a country we need to invest more in is community health strategy. As you all know, uh, that community health worker is the one who is very close to the people, is the one who is able to visit that mother when she has any problem, is the one who is able to check the mother frequently even when she is pregnant and when she gives birth to a child, the same person who is able to visit this mother and see how the child is doing. To achieve universal health coverage as embedded in the Jubilee Big Four Agenda and end maternal mortality rate as civil societies, National Director World Vision Lillian Dadzo urged the government to address the following. Enhance access to quality nutrition and health services, including family planning, through allocation of adequate financial resources to produce supplies and training of health personnel, improve functionality, of health facilities in hard to reach areas for women and children under five years. Improve care seeking behaviors and health referral systems by strengthening community based health systems, including support to community health volunteers and health committees. Implement an effective health insurance and financial risk protection. To sustain the gains made, there is need to strengthen multi sectoral approaches coordination and synergies between stakeholders at national and county levels to ensure effective health system. Social accountability and community participation for better service delivery is also required. We also need to scale up successful interventions on health and nutrition that have been proven to have impact, such as promotion of biofortified crops and an example of iron-rich beans and orange flesh sweet potatoes among others presented in this conference, as well as support mechanisms to promote primary health care. Head of Department Cooperation Global Affairs Canada, Jenny Hill, said we need a shift in focus to end maternal mortality rate and improve service delivery. We've heard, we've seen great gains um, in reduced maternal mortality due to the increase in use of skilled birth attendants. But we now need to shift our focus, now that we've, we've seen that increase, into ensuring the quality of those services, which I know is what everyone here, not everyone, but you know, a lot of people here are working on. CEO, Council of Governors Jacqueline Mogheny, called on all organizations present at the conference to put on multispectral lenses in design and planning of mother, maternal and newborn child nutritional intervention. We as the COG and county governments remain acutely aware of the gaps occasioned by inequities across the country and we seek all means to address them. And so when we seek to support counties, please don't just go where the tarmac reaches. There's also counties in places where the tarmac doesn't reach. Mm -hmm. yeah. So don't always be coming and saying, you've selected, I don't want to mention, because as I'm, I'm a mother of 47. Mm -hmm. Just ensure that you reach even my child who is number 47, because it's also my child. While presenting the conference's communique, Dr. Stephen Kaliti mentioned that having shared the progress and strategies to end maternal mortality, he affirmed that county and national government's leadership and civil society's partnership are very vital in achieving these fundamental efforts. We have affirmed that the kind of leadership, including the national government, the county governments, and the civil society, is very vital to the success of these efforts. And that's why we are talking about partnerships, collaborations, and working together to synergize our efforts towards achieving that. Women and children living with disabilities cannot be left behind and we actively acknowledge to make sure that they are incorporated at all levels, leaving no one behind and they participate as equal partners, both not only at the community level but at all levels in designing programs, strategies and policies that affect their lives as well as their health outcomes. In addition, while reading remarks on behalf of the Director General Ministry of Health, Dr. Khaliti said efforts and collaboration have been key in achieving universal health coverage and reducing high maternal mortality rate. You have our support as a ministry, and I have to say as the Director General, that is a quote the Director General, that you have my personal support and will be able to move forward for the benefit of Kenya. According to a research, 803 women die every day due to childbirth and about 99% of the world's maternal deaths occur in developing regions with sub-Saharan Africa accounting for two in every three deaths, which is 66%. Therefore, 
improving maternal neonatal child health and nutrition is a priority for Kenya in achieving sustainable development goals. In order to strengthen maternal neonatal child health and nutrition, financial support, private and public partnership are key elements and thus we shall be achieving the universal health coverage. Reporting for Y254 TV, I'm Dereva Hilary.